What's going on, guys, and welcome back to episode two of Win, Lose, Listen. I am your host, Jacob, and I am joined by... Jeremy. Jeremy. He didn't. He must must forgot his name for a second there. I was back, just guys. so confused uh, what hey, you were, we're trying to do in. there. Hey. Well, you know, it's a win, lose, and a listen all in itself. Um, welcome back, guys. For today, we're going to be covering a variety of free games. Um, New games. On the platforms such as PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Nintendo this week. Um, but before we dive into that, I'd just like to shout out back to last week. Um, last week, we asked the question, um, in what year was the original Xbox released? Uh, we only had one entry last week, so the $10 gift card of choice is going to X Fatally on YouTube. Congratulations with the correct answer of 2001. <clears throat> this week's trivia question will be at the end of this video, so stay tuned for a chance to win another $10 gift card of your choice by responding with or responding with the answer on any of our social medias or via email at contact at winloselisten.com. And you'll get that uh, to get question us started, at the end. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Okay. Uh, to start us off with some of the free games that we have going on, we'll start with PC. And uh, I'll let Jeremy go from here because I think he was really interested in his first game. Um, not so much interested. It was, uh, I mean, if you guys are really into Game of Thrones, um, there is a free game on Epic Games right now. Um, it is Game of Thrones. If I can pull it up here, um, it'd be great. But it's not going to let me, so let me just uh, pull this up here for you. Um, there we go. So it's a board game. Uh, if you guys are into like Dungeons and & Dragons and you guys like Game of Thrones, um, you might like this game. Uh, it's kind of an interesting one. Uh, it's kind of like one of the games that me and uh, Jacob have played before. It's uh, for the king. Um, it is free on Epic Games, like I said. Uh, it's not free till June 30th. So uh, snag it before it's gone. It's already the 26th. So um, Four more days. Right. Four, four days. You got four days. It's a four and a half, 4.2 4. stars. Sorry, not four and a half. It's a decently looking game. Um, it's not too bad. Just it's going Vegas off the pictures. It looks like an interesting game. Kind of reminds me of like maybe a Risk style game. You know, where you're competing against other people to be kind of number one. Kind of reminds me of that vibe. But you know, regardless, it looks like a looks like a decent game, and it might be something even better for those that are actually interested in Game of Thrones. Personally, I am not, but more power to you if you are. Exactly. Which uh, I'm gonna let you pull off the second one because I know you were uh, actually very interested in this. You actually just grabbed it. You just snagged this right before this uh sure this I thing started. So thirty seconds ago, grabbed this game because I was like, "Well, it's free. Why not?" Um, we got Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So it is a little bit of a backflash to um, a couple years ago. Um, it does look like a really solid game. It's a game that I've had on my wish list for quite some time now, but never actually snagged. Um, but, I mean, if I start off with the 2018 game and it becomes something that I do enjoy, I might as well cop the 2021 to see, you know, what they have added into it. Um, it's got a lot of stuff really, you know, like your car mechanic, like repairing cars, um, salvaging cars, um, even test driving them and stuff like that. Um, it is a single player only game as far as I'm aware. Yes, it is. Um, but it's something if you're a huge car fan, you want something a little more realistic. You want something that... Um, you know, you can dig in and fix a car without breaking the bank in real life because today's car prices are absolutely insane. So, you know, it might be a little fun for you to kick it in and, you know, see what you like. Um, as with the first one, um, this one also is until 6.30.22, so you have about four days. Um, do snag it while you can. If Even if it's something you might not play, it might be worth having in your library because you never know on those rainy days when you're bored and... Your duo partner on Apex is no longer with you, and you just need something <laughs> to keep yourself occupied. So, yeah, I play. I think I. I think, I, I think I've played uh, the older one. I'm not sure. I don't think I played this one, this car mechanic one. But I have played a car mechanic, and um, it is a good game. Uh, it's definitely something you can yeah. just sit back, kill some time. If you really like cars. You can do so much. There's so much to it that you can do. Uh, so many different things. Right, I know. So realism. I know you go to a junkyard and and pick out parts and and just like the real life. 
you need a part for your car, what do you do? You uh, either call a junkyard or uh, go look yourself. So, um, and you can do both in this game. So, What's I think it might be something I'll grab too. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, if we're moving on here, the next one is called Gene Forge. Um, it's an interesting looking game. Um, I haven't really looked too much into this one. Uh, there's a few of these games I haven't really looked too much into. I read a little bit about it. Um, it's about a, like a cult thing. It's a, it's really weird. Um, yes, it is about a cult. So, Jacob, I don't, I don't know how you feel about this one. Um, it's an older game. It looks like and, but the f weird thing yeah, is, it came out last year, which was which is really weird. Oh, really? Yeah, it came out last year, Old but it still VR. kind of looks like this. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. It looks like something uh, about it looks cool. creatures and yeah. creature creations. Um, it is an yeah, RPG. That's, like it, that's probably that. probably because it's an indie game. That's probably why it's like this. Um. Sure. Yeah, that is a very indie themed style. So I mean, it would it would make sense that. It's diving into that realm of indie games. Yeah, indie style. games are uh, are pretty much the the old style game, unless you're uh, unless you're an indie developer using like uh, Unreal Engine, the newer Unreal Engine, which uh, I've seen a lot of indie games um, come out recently that actually look pretty decent. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, of course, this one is it's not free anymore. Uh, just realized that it must have just <laughs> went off sale today, um, because uh, that's. No, it actually looks like it's. It says seven four. It oh, it starts on the thirtieth. So My bad. Yeah, so it has, hasn't started yet. Well, some okay, ended that's on right. The 30th, this one hasn't started. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So. In the back of your mind, there is still time. You don't have to pay for it just yet. Okay. Nope. So if it was something that's interesting, you don't listen to Jeremy. He sometimes doesn't know what he's talking about. No, it's single player. <laughs> um, most of the free games are going to be single player, which I've noticed a pattern of is a lot of them are single player. Which is, which, which is kind of interesting, really, because you'd think they would promote multiplayer games to try and get people to play together. Like, I feel like, um, even like personally for me, if I have like the reasoning to play a free game because I want to play with a friend, I mean that's me telling them to get it and then telling them to get it and then, like it's it's better that way than just like you know here's a free single player game that you can play when you're bored you know what i mean i just yeah i mean the I first know. one the game yeah, of thrones guess... one is multiplayer i forgot to mention that but this that yeah, one is true. single player and multiplayer but we do have a free game that we're going to talk about later after we get through this list um which a lot of people might like so um let's continue with this list uh I'll let jacob take over the next game I'm going to slaughter this name, but we're going to freaking go for it. Iridus, Lord of the Dead. It, it looks kind of like a spicy game. Um, it it's, looks like it's another turn-based kind of board gamey style RPG game. Um, kind of reminds me of like the old like um, the old car, like like board card games that used to play as a kid. Like fighting monsters versus monsters. Ra reminds me a lot of about of uh, mobile games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like those like idle. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Just the style of it, the art style is kind of an interesting one. Um, right now it does say it is twenty nine ninety nine, but uh, just like the last one, um, as of six thirty until seven four, you can get it for free. So if it's something you're interested, in, take note of the name, mark it down, bookmark it, save it inside of your uh, favorite notebook, or do something with or it. Or grab it. Like just it. go to our website. We'll have it on there. Ah, You'll see it. What is our website, Jeremy? No way. Winloselisten.com. Uh -huh. Everything we Win talk lose. about usually on this on this podcast is going to be on there. We'll have all the free games, new releases, um, all kinds of different stuff like that. Uh, our episodes will be on there. Social medias. Um, if you guys want to give us an answer for our questions, for our weekly question, you can do that on there as well. Um, anything you really want to do, just go check it out and you can... Uh, you can see anything and everything it has everything all in one place and you don't have to do the hard work we've done it for you so get it while it lasts <clears throat> the next one that is all for the pc games um since there was just a few 
I do like how more of the PC games these days have been moving into the free style concept, um, allowing people to get a taste of different games. I feel like it's a good thing for gamers these days, especially with every new game being like. Well, the big thing is it's Epic Games. Epic Games is pretty epic, I must admit. You know what I mean? They started out slow, the but they uh, they've been buying more and more of these uh, game companies and uh, making their games. Free. And doing good things with it. Yeah. Like, uh, Releasing you, them, in, in the past, games. you've had Grand Theft Auto, um, you've had a, a whole bunch of different things. I can't remember a lot of them off my head, but I know a lot of them were big titles, AAA games, like stuff like that. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that a lot of game studios these days have been being bought out, though, in its same hand. If you think about Activision that just got bought out last, whatever, by uh, Microsoft now. So Yeah interesting in and of itself and everything's uh, changing for the most part it has done good things so i guess we'll just hope for the best and hope that continues yeah exactly get some free games out of, out of all this deal absolutely all this right next game looks kind of interesting there's like a reoccurring theme here yeah so um our next topic is going to be xbox games it's not going to be f so it's sort of free games it's with gold, but I mean, if you have an Xbox, most of you that have Xbox will have gold. Um, these Probably are the games you get friends. with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but these are the games that you get with gold. Um, I'm just going to name them off. We're going to talk about probably one or two of them um, real quick, and then, um, then we'll move on. Uh, so the first one is called Rascals. Um, interesting looking game. Uh, it's an older style game. It kind of reminds me of, uh, what is that game? Uh, Castle Crashers. It's that kind of art style to it. Um, mm -hmm. it's a puzzle. It looks like a puzzle game, uh, kind of a side scroller. You have different mini games and stuff like that. Um, not too bad. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Mario Party kind of theme too in some of these screenshots. Um, mm -hmm. interesting one. Definitely, if you, uh, if you have gold, definitely uh, just check it out. Like I said, every, everything we talk about for the, these first parts is free. So free is the, the best price in my book. Hey, man, I will 100% be there with you. I will take a free game every day of the week without a doubt. This next game that I'm going to cover, it was a cool, really cool game that caught my eye. Um, going to totally slaughter the name of the game. We're going to Avon or Avon Colony. Um, A V E N Colony. Um, looks like a really cool game. Um, kind of in, in that like factory building, open world style game, like we're seeing quite a bit. Um, in these last couple months, I mean, looking at games that have released, in, you know, in the past year or so, Icarus and Satisfactory, and you know, um, all of those games in this open world building survival style concept. Um, it looks like this is kind of the same sort of gig. Um, kind of looks like you start off small and you got to build your colony to become the biggest that it possibly can be. Um, I, it looks like primarily it is like a like a, a third person, not third person per se, but like an overview style game, like top view games. Like if you ever remember playing, yeah, your top view games. Like um, reminds me of playing like Monkey City on the mobile device, like back. Monkey in the day, City. So your... That's an Monkey interesting City. one. Did you play Monkey? City as a kid. I, on, I don't. To. I have to. If I uh, I gotta think about it quick because I don't. I gotta look this up because uh, Monkey City. It sounds familiar, but I have such Monkey a bad City. memory that um, I just can't remember anything. It it was that that one Blooms? game where you uh, the tower yes, defense Blooms. one. Yeah. The you had yeah. The yep. I remember this one. Floor and fire. It reminds me kind of like of that style, or I mean, in a sense. Yeah, I, mean, I could see that. Extent, but just, you know, in a way. Right. Um, but yeah, like Jeremy said before, free with Xbox Gold um, for the rest of the month. You got four days to grab it, um, play it, get it, learn it, love it, live it. Um, they have a lot of features on here. I've cool seen. Game. I've seen. I, I'm reading these things. Yeah, they got so much stuff to do. The uh, Prepare for winter. Form. So it looks like there's going to be, uh, it's a fully functional day and night and seasonal cycle. So uh, it kind of reminds me of Icarus because Icarus has those storms in it too. Yeah. 
um, expeditions, build the future, discover the past. Um, so it's pretty much like you're building up to um, the future uh, with with uh, yeah. all the kind of like uh, discovering these these things. Advancements in technology and whatnot. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Looks like a good game. It does definitely looks like a good game. Maybe something I'd look into, but I don't have an Xbox. I don't know if it's available on other consoles. Would be cool if it was, but it doesn't look. It's like probably it. available on other. Only. It's only Xbox. Yeah, the Xbox only. Oh, okay. Well, all you really Xbox people. PC yeah. Oh wait, I lied. It's, it's on Microsoft, sir. Oh, there we go. I nine. It's on sale on Steam, so you can't get it for free if you're playing on PC, but you can get it. Uh, what percentage off? Eighty percent off. Retail price of thirty dollars. You can get it for six bucks almost out before tax. Which isn't bad. Maybe we're snagging if it's something that uh, you're jealous of the Xbox players and you wanna, you wanna play it out. Wanna show them up. And now is that multiplayer? Uh, you can. I know you can read um, that on the side there. I don't see anything on Xbox. It looks Xbox. like it is only single player. It's okay. It's kind of like your Civ style games where you're by yeah. yourself. And I got you. Well, yeah. You cool. can't. We can't always say that. Because uh, the newest, civil I don't know if it's the newest one. I know that I played uh, Civilization, and uh, I actually, it was multiplayer, which was really cool. Oh. We would create our own yeah. colonies and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, well, Pretty I fun. shut my mouth. <laughs> don't listen to me. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But, regardless, it reminds me of that style game. Yeah. That style concept. Now, here's, a, here's an exciting one that uh, a lot of people might be excited for. Um, it's free. All platforms. All platforms? All of them. Every, every single one of them. Um, PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox. You, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Nintendo Switch. It's, just a, it's, it's interesting. Everything. 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 Fall Guys. You guys Fall have been, uh, looking out. There's, uh, Fall Guys. And you, uh, if you've not been living under a rock, I should say. Fall Guys is a big uh, puzzle game. Uh, not puzzle, but um, survival yeah. game. Kind of like... Um, like a party game. Right. Party. Like Battle Royale as a party game. Right. It's uh, pretty fun. Um, I personally played it. Jacob's personally played it. Um, a lot of new features coming with the free update, actually. Um, which they is kind of cool. It used to be very basic, but it is really huge now. And I think them going free is going to just open the world for more possibilities in the future. So that is cool. Oh, yeah. 100%. It's going to just... The the amount of people playing it is going to go through the roof because of it Absolutely. being free. It used, to, it used to take a while to queue into the game, which kind of sucked. But I um, believe I it, think it used to be $20. Used to be, I think it, it wasn't very expensive. I do remember that. Um, I don't know. Again, it got removed off of Steam, so I can't even see what it was back. Or that's what it is or what that's it the other thing I wanted to talk about. It got removed from Steam. So all you people that had it on Steam, uh, I mean, you can still you can you still, still play it. it. You still have it, but it's been moved to Epic Games, which what we were talking about um, earlier. Epic Games is buying everything and making their big titles free, which is yeah, very, which is cool. and very to interesting. Be fair, to be fair, that is what Epic Games started off. Of. I mean, Fortnite. Fortnite was is is free. was and will stay free, and they've made a killing off of it. Like the amount of even just off cosmetics, which realistically is what Fall Guys is. It's cosmetics. Yeah, a hundred percent. Creating your character. It's not. You know, I mean, a lot of games these days are moving towards the cosmetic only mindset. Um, right. I mean, like looking at like um, Call Apex, Duty, for example, like Call of Duty, Apex. They're cosmetic based. I mean, they're not trying to sell you add-ons or this or that or what are their. I mean, they give you the ability to play the game, get a taste of it, see if you like it. And that's and the great part about it, it is Absolutely. they're not pushing those cosmetics on you. They're there. A lot of people like to buy them because they want to look cooler when they play the game. If you want to be like Tifu and play the game without ever buying a skin, go have at it. But me, I'm going to waste all my money on Apex skins. So you do you and I'll do 100%. you. 100%. <laughs> exactly. So 
that's that's just the way I see it. So it's cool, um, and I I do appreciate that they do stuff like that because I hate like for example Call of Duty. I mean the amount of times I bought Call of Duty and it just wasn't up to par. It just wasn't what I expected. The trailer sucked. I mean, shoot, now they're raising it up ten dollars, which we talked about last week um, in episode one. So I mean, it, and then which we've actually seen a lot of game. We've seen a few games um, increase, lately that have yeah. increased from uh, sixty dollars to seventy dollars. So it could be that new standard. And, and you know what really sucks was like like I was saying with COD is um, you you pay seventy dollars for the game. And then they push cosmetics down your throat on top of it. I mean, like, that's just, it's just shitty because, I mean, I don't know. Whatever works for them, I guess. Whatever dummies decide to actually buy it. I mean, I guess they're making millions and millions, billions of dollars. So who right. gives a shit what my opinion is? But I feel like it's much better moving at the free, but you can pay for add-ons or right. whatever. Because people are always cool. still going to spend the money. Mm-hmm. And like you like you've shown like in in Apex for example, I mean you don't have to buy the skins. I mean you can un you can have an heirloom in the game, which is like some for those of you that don't play it, like this really high, you know, melee prestigious weapon. type of thing melee weapon for each character. So, um, very rare to get, but you can get it without ever spending a dime, which is something that's cool. And I mean, you can even unlock certain skins and cool stuff without ever spending a dime. Just spending money gets you there a little faster. Right. But you know. They don't force you, and I really like that concept, and I can't wait to see where Fall Guys takes from this, and if they add more cosmetics to the game, which, I mean, there were a lot before, but I hope to see more. Oh, they're definitely more adding more to uh, when animation, it comes through for modes. free. So. Absolutely. Just cooler stuff. Absolutely. Uh, here's another free game for you. Um, Jacob, I'm going to let you talk about this, what your opinions are. I looked a little bit at this. Um, I know that you... Did you? I think you played Rocket League before, right? I played Rocket League. Yeah. Yeah. I so I want your opinion on this on this game because it's kind of like a Rocket League, um, type game. I, I don't know. I, I mean, it is kind of your Rocket League style game. It's kind of like you know you got to run around and you're, you're playing sports in a field that's you know not normal, not a normal soccer field or not a normal this or that, but. Um, it doesn't look bad at all. Um, it looks like it did just come out um, literally three days ago. Wow. Um, well, so no, it came like out I... uh, last month on the 25th. Oh, it came out. On That's the, the That was the initial release date. You're right. You're and right. then it came to ago. Epic Games on uh, three days ago. Yeah, yeah. you're right. So you didn't, we it didn't say the title, cool. but it's Roller Champions. That is a very important factor. It's a Ubisoft game, so it was on uh, Ubisoft Connect, which, and now it's on Epic which, Games. Which is interesting, actually, because you know I've noticed a lot of companies, like, I mean, Ubisoft, for example, pulled a lot of their games off of other launchers and made it specifically Ubisoft, or you see Epic Games only on Epic Games, like Fall Guys, for example, but it seems kind of interesting that Ubisoft would target... Um, Epic games. Epic games instead of targeting their own audience first but um ubisoft usually makes pretty decent games they they have a lot of games which are really heavily movement mechanic based like um riders republic and stuff like that um even like the you know which this one kind of looks like because yeah, it is rollerblading so, so I, I and i've seen some gameplay trailer for it um mm -hmm. it looks like a pretty decent game uh, even if you're not into rollerblading it's still kind of a fun looking game Looks like a fun game to kill some time with. And it is a um, multiplayer game. You can play with friends. Um, so you guys can... Uh, I don't know what the max team size is. Cause it's not showing me right here at this very moment. Oh, a team of three. Team of three. So you and two buddies can download this game off of Epic Games and uh, have at it and um, dominate the competition. Um, if you're a fan of Rocket League, might be worth taking a shot. Why not? Why not? Exactly. Um, now a quick mention. Uh, we've covered this last um, last week. Um, Naraka Blade Point. Uh, available on Game Pass now. It is free on Game Pass, just so you guys know. Um, that is, was as of three days ago. It's free with Xbox Game Pass. Um, so if you were looking at Naraka, looking at something, uh, a different kind of battle... 
uh, Battle Royale game. I personally played it. I actually played some of it yesterday. It's actually pretty good. Um, so definitely something to check out. Um, big change. Big updates coming to it as well. So uh, definitely check that stuff out. Not a sponsor, by the way. Jeremy just sounds no. like he's speaking on behalf of the company. No, I, no, no, I'm not. No, not sponsored. It's just <laughs> it. This is a. It, it is a good game, though. It, it is something to uh, to take a break from those uh, those first person battle royale games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Shooting and blah blah blah. Exactly. Yeah. This one, you actually have to get up in somebody's face to uh, have a battle. Good movement as well. All right. Absolutely. All right, and I know I said earlier that we were going to talk about a little bit of Nintendo in this episode, because um, I didn't want y'all to feel neglected out there playing your Mario Party. Yep, make sure you are of age, Jeremy. I don't want you looking at inappropriate games. Yeah, I know, right? Not of age. Come on, let me see that ID, pull it out. Um, but no, uh, I don't know necessarily if these are free or if they're just new releases. Um, these are so. These I games are already out technically, but they're come. They were. Coming to Nintendo, which they have already have, except for one of them is still um, in the works. Coming, I believe, on um, the thirtieth, I believe. Yeah. Yes, June thirtieth. One of the games I'm going to skip around to is uh, Wreckfest. Personally, love Wreckfest. Played it all the time. Um, it was a really fun game. I really like racing games, and even more so, like games where. There's a like a not a story per se, but a solid campaign behind it. Um, not like the same old you know race, do this, 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 you know whatever. Um, kind of interested, glad that they're bringing something like this to Nintendo. Um, just because I mean, you don't really. To be fair, um, Nintendo is a console that you don't see many games targeted that way. Um, usually you'll see it release on PC and Xbox and all them, but then Nintendo gets forgotten about, but um, with how far consoles have come these days and the level of, like, abilities that some of these consoles have, even the Switch, for example, which is what we're talking about here, um, is something that, I mean, you can dive into. So if you didn't have the, didn't have an Xbox, a PlayStation, or a PC to play Wreckfest when it came out um, a couple years ago, um, definitely might be worth giving it a shot, and it does look like it's cheaper than what it was back then. Thirty nine ninety nine. Um, it used to be sixty when it first came out. So, which is still kind of funny because uh, I'm pretty sure this game is uh, quite a uh, few years old. Yeah, I know it's kind of interesting that it came out late, which means which is cool in a sense because it means they're still developing their game frequently. Um, and uh, another sidebar for those of you who are playing on PC. Um, Wreckfest is eleven ninety nine on Steam right now. It looks like it is until July seventh. Um, so if you're not a Nintendo player but you are interested in this game, do give it a shot on Steam. Eleven ninety nine, sixty percent off. Um, a lot of summer sales going on right now with Steam, um, just because they like to entertain some children when they're out of school. So um, some, yeah, summer sale. In, summer sale, yeah. So if something you're interested in, grab it, snag it. Eleven ninety nine is not bad for. A hell of a story-based game and a hell of a racing game for sure. So here's another, uh, here's a big one that a lot of people might be interested in. I know um, I was interested in this game when, oh, I'm actually uh, skipping around here. My bad. Um, no, actually, yeah, Sonic. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was looking at the wrong thing. But yeah, Sonic Origins is coming to Switch. So uh, if you Man. like Sonic, um, I loved Sonic. Um, so did I love Sonic. Played it on the freaking uh, Nintendo, all that, or on the Sega. Um, it was a great mm -hmm. game. Played it on the computer. It Sonic was just one of those great side scroller games that I loved. Um, There's a lot of nostalgia coming from these screenshots. Oh yeah, so much stuff yeah. here. Um, but Crazy. yes, that is coming to. Switch, I think it's already out on Switch. Yes, it was uh, June 21st that it came out. So, uh, want to get it on Switch? It's there for, uh, I believe, $40, $39.99. Which is also a funny one. They're, 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 uh, those prices are a little interesting that they're, uh, doing these older games to be this, uh, this More price. More expensive than the, yeah, I know. Isn't that kind of interesting? Um, 
I, I guess I don't understand, know the logic per se, but it, it definitely seems like something that has become way more common um, than it used to be. So there is that. Um, I would have thought this would have been like a twenty dollar game or something, but. I mean, yeah, but you got to sink in the same hand. Um, the amount of work that went into making that game is probably the same amount of game of work that came, you know, goes into making a COD, and that's sixty dollars. So it's still cheaper right. than that. Um, Converting it from um, the older console to the new one, upgrading graphics and all that fun stuff is a lot of work right. from a development standpoint. So there, you know, there is that. Um, definitely got a something point. interesting. Definitely something worth looking into, and. Uh, even then, forty dollars for a Switch game these days is not bad because they usually run more than forty dollars. Usually it's sixty. So yeah, most of the time, nostalgia is not a bad game at all. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick mention of the other games that are coming to uh, Switch, so we can uh, move on. Uh, we also have Shadow Run Trilogy, that was released on Switch on the 21st. Uh, you have Capcom Fighting Collection. That was two days ago on the twenty fourth. Is that is that's the same game we covered? Not the same game, but the same series we covered last week, wasn't it? The Capcom Arcade or whatever. I, that we this played. is a a different kind of game, I believe. Um, but same okay. kind of concept of it. Like the Street Fighter style game. Right. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Um, then we have Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, Three Hopes, that also oh, released oh, on twenty fourth. On uh, on Switch, four hopes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're gonna make that one. I guess we'll just have to Fire wait and see. Warriors, four hopes. Um, what happened to two hopes and one hope? Yeah, I don't know. You should look into that. Episode. I'm gonna go make the game and I'm gonna copyright it right here, right now, live on. Stream. You you do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then the last one is Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So Monster Hunter Rise came out, I believe uh a month or two ago uh the new one the rise um and they're releasing the dlc on 30th of this month for switch so uh you are playing monster hunter rise um and want to check out this dlc dlc looks actually pretty decent from what i can uh what i've been reading and what i've been seeing um looks pretty cool definitely something to check out um, absolutely And uh, Spiral on. into the uh the, the more important stuff here because I'm really excited for this next game because this this next game actually looks like something I would buy, um and I'm totally slapping this on my wish list after this, um, coming to multi platform PC PS4 PS5 Xbox One Xbox Series, and I'm sorry Nintendo like I said you'll probably come in two or three years but not yet, um. Motocross versus ATV Legends. Um, huge nostalgia with this game. 100%. It reminds me a lot of the old, like, P like I'm thinking, like, PS2 games. Oh, yeah. Used to play. Like, MX versus like, ATV. Old, yeah, the old one. Like, I, I remember playing that game for hours and hours on end. And this game looks absolutely amazing. Like, the graphic quality that we have going into this game and just the overall look of it and all the vehicles and the tracks and everything looks absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, I'm glad we're seeing newer... I'm, the reoccurring theme here has been a lot of the older games, the games we remember, have been coming out new and released and better and optimized, which is cool because, I mean... As a as a child, I probably didn't appreciate this game, this level of quality, as much as I would now, just because there is so much to it. And I, I'm a huge fan of racing games and stuff like that, but they have to be a good racing game. You gotta have a good feel, um, you know, good level of difficulty. I don't want to dust through the entire game in 20 minutes, but you know, I also don't want to have to play the same level 18 times because I keep losing. So, yeah. Um, Comes out on June 28th, two more days. Looks like it's going to come out Tuesday. Um, I don't see a price on it, which is kind of disappointing. Nope, haven't added a but price yet. It, see, which is interesting because it comes out in two days. You can't even pre-order it or anything. Um, but definitely could be something worth looking into for those of you interested in this style of game. Uh, like I said, might be something I'm going to look into personally. Um, and... 
it does look like it is something that is not only just a single player campaign um, but is also something that you can go against friends um, so if you're looking for something to play against your friends uh, you want to make them eat your dust and all that fun shit um, give it a shot um, is controller supported and all that fun stuff so if you're not PC gamer and uh, really not feeling the uh, WASD steering which, by the way absolutely sucks if you're a PC player and you play racing games with a WASMD, you are the worst type of human, and I never want to talk to you again. But moving on, <laughs> um, the only way I will That's ever a little harsh. control on PC is playing a racing game. But um, definitely looks cool. Definitely something I'm going to be interested in. If you're into racing games, dirt bike games, quad games, that type of stuff, could be something to look into and uh, go from there. you got one day and 16 hours to make your decision before it releases. So think about it. Give it a shot if you want. And like I said, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox X and S. X or S. <laughs> X and S. So uh, before we get into the uh, the other DLCs, um, we have a game that I was looking into um, called The Galactic Junkers. So this was kind of like the game we covered last week, um, where you created your airline in space and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Kind of the same kind of concept. Um, so let me read you the description here so you can uh, get a better feel for it. Because I'm not very good at describing uh, these games. I haven't played too much. Uh, so become the space captain of your, you always wanted to be. There's there are just a few problems. Your ship needs work. There's a price on your head and your crew are idiots. <laughs> Seek your fortune and truth in the Galactic Junkers. A comedic space combat adventure game. Interesting. So you're the captain of your crew. There's a bounty on your head. Um, you have to repair your ship to try to get away. So you're kind of like pirates there, that concept. Arrgh. And uh, unfortunately, your crewmates are all idiots, as, uh, as we just read. So you got to do it all on your own. Sucks to be doing stuff on your own. Oh, yeah. Uh, this comes out on June 30th on Steam. And this is also another one that does not have a price tag on it, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. But at the very least, there is a demo for this one. So you can dive into the demo if you don't know if you're going to want it or um, don't know if the price tag that it will drop with is going to be worth it. Um, But give it a shot. Maybe download the demo and see if it's something you like um, and something you might actually want to play or pay for the full game. Um. I know we're talking about Steam here, but uh, is coming to PS4 and Xbox One, um, so all of your consoles alike can experience this game, um, not just PC players. I don't know necessarily if there's a demo on the other consoles. Um, that could be hit or miss, but in the meantime, um, at the very least, PC. You might be able right. to find a video or something um, covering the demo or something. I'm sure you can. Definitely um, can if you YouTube it. Absolutely. So yeah, might be something worth looking into. See what you think, um, or just nag Jeremy uh, on Twitch at its digs um, for enough times, and he might play it. Yeah, you, uh, I got you. You guys want that? Let me let us know. Absolutely. Let um, me, he's. I'm gonna be laughing at him. As right. Exactly. Um. So. so the three we have three DLCs that are coming out. They're all coming out on the thirtieth. Uh, like we covered before, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Um, that is coming for PC and Switch, the DLC. Um, PC too, huh? Yep, PC and Switch. Uh, then you also have Cuphead, which is coming for PS, PS4, PC, Xbox One, and Switch. Um, did you and actually play Cuphead? I did. It was very, very hard. I gave up very fast. I downloaded it on Switch and, um, and gave up pretty fast, so... Yeah, kudos but, to you. You can actually it, play. Yeah, this if game. you are actually playing Cuphead and you can uh, get through these levels, definitely kudos to you. More I couldn't do it. You. I couldn't do it. You are the person killing me in Apex every round. Right. <laughs> you got a better gaming chair than I do. Uh, last one is Outriders World Slayer. Outriders World Slayer. Uh, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S. All three are coming out on June 30th, so look out for those in a few days. 
Um, and uh, on the Outriders section of this, it does look like it is 10% off. Um, if you pre-order it, so it is normally $39.99, it's releasing or pre-ordering for $35.99. So if it's something you're interested in, something you're going to play, um, give it a shot. And if you don't have the game originally, it's also 33% off if you buy the DLC with the game. So, might be good deal. To look it into. Absolutely. Good deal, good deal. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. Uh, next thing we have on this list. For all of you um, fighting game uh, lovers out there, uh, your Mortal Kombat, your Capcom uh, versus Marvel versus Capcom, um, uh, Street Fighter, stuff like that, uh, there is a game called... What am I missing here? It's on the Wii, and you're missing it, and it really hurts my feelings. It's on the Wii. It's on the Wii. It's on any Nintendo you want on the Switch. You oh, it. it's on the Wii. You got it. Are you talking about? You're not talking about. Oh, um, oh, you're not talking about what come we la on. talked about last week. The... No, no, come on. What is it? Um, What's the game? Wow, I'm oh. really drawing a huge blank right now. Well, I was gonna go with Super Smash, but I'm kind of disappointed. But it's not. But it's not. No, but it reminds me that you got the fighting game. You know, whenever I think fighting, I think of Super Smash because it. It is and always will be my favorite PvP, even though it's not PvP kind of game, whatever you want to call it, whatever you're gonna go with. That's what I'm gonna go with. I suppose, uh, yeah. I, I I can yeah. I guess I can see it that way too. Yeah, exactly. But okay, I'll more, give I'll give you that. Better. I'll give you that. All right. Uh I'm it's called DNF Duel game. though. Yes, I know. I am very sorry. Like I said, I have a horrible memory with these things sometimes. Uh but it's called DNF Duel. It is releasing on the 28th. Um, I believe it is coming for PS4, PS5, and PC. Um, wow. Looks like a Xbox. looks like a pretty decent game. Um, not too bad. Uh, kind of your fantasy, kind of like anime style fighting, if you will. Um, it does have a price tag. You can pre-purchase it. This one Ouch. actually has a price tag of fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I don't know if I'd honestly. I don't know if I'd pay fifty dollars for a like Mortal Kombat Street Fighter style game. But if it's something you're interested in, more power to you. I ain't gonna judge you. I mean, it's it's kind of actually it's cheaper than uh, a lot of the other ones. And guess, yeah. you know what? You know, here's a, here's a really good kicker, which brings us to our next topic. The publisher of this game. Are you ready for this? Nexon mm -hmm. Korea Corporation. Why does that ring a bell? Why does it ring a bell? Um. Oh my God. Yeah. That's. That's the that's game where, we played. That's where it rings a bell, right? That's crazy. I didn't realize that the publisher is the same. Yep. Huh. So. They're labeled differently, though. That's weird. What do you mean they're labeled huh. differently? One's titled Nexon Korea Corp, and the other's titled Nexon Korea Corporation. Right. Which, which is, is so weird. Which but... is very weird, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. But the game we're talking about here is Veiled Experts. Um, we played a little bit of this this weekend. Um, it wasn't all that that we were expecting he should be um, coding it the game was trash it the the recoil on these guns that just oh my god uh i it's... played Tarkov, and the recoil in this game is fucking ridiculous yeah and the amount of health that some that these people have is you literally have to like unload two clips of a gun into them just to kill them. With the recoil being ridiculous. And like right. the recoil on the pistol. Oh my god. Try sniping. Was... Ah, you use a freaking use a four times on there. The the bullets don't even line up with the scope. Sounds like somebody needs to uh, readjust their sight on that uh, sniper rifle, eh? Yeah. All in all though, um more power to it, I guess in a sense. Um it wasn't an I, I know I said it was trash, and it was trash. I mean, that, that, that there's no power or no, like, sugarcoat in that. Um, but when we first saw this game, it it looked amazing. I mean, it looked like 
Oh, it looked like a mix game. between PUBG, Super People, all those style games. Um, Even the concept of it seemed cool because it had like your Valorant style gameplay where you like you got to buy stuff, you got to work as a team, you got to plant, you know. Um, and it, you know, you got your search and destroy style game where you're, you know, planting a bomb, defusing the bomb, defending, all that fun stuff. Um, I, I think it's something that might need a little bit of polishing, a little bit of, a little bit of finishing up. I don't think, I, I think it was releasing. I can't even remember when it was releasing exactly. It was they do not have a release date, but the global beta, unfortunately, just ended today. No, it actually ends on. Oh, wait. Today, twenty sixth. Says ended on the twenty sixth at midnight, but is that midnight Korea time or midnight our time? Oh, maybe you still have time. I don't know. I'm just. I, I don't. I mean, I guess if you're listening live, you might. Uh, most of their other stuff is in KST, which is Korea standard time. So right. Maybe it is midnight Korea standard time, but um, it definitely looked cool. Um, I mean, if they if they ch if they fix some of the things on there, I would um, I would definitely say that it, it could be it could definitely be one of the top games for you. Yeah, um, and it does look like it's going to be something that's free. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to charge for it, which is cool. Um, looks like it's going to be another one of your free to play games. Um, so the animations and stuff are cool. The breakability, um. The movement, the parkour felt felt okay, um, but like you said, the only thing that felt weird was the weapons. They they need they need a little bit of fixing. Yeah, there's no reason definitely. They should, uh, shoot one shot with a two times on a uh, and be AR. on the on the uh, others looking 180 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm aiming behind me at the wall. That's how it fucking feels like. It feels like I'm it feels like I'm racing in Forza Horizon Five with force feedback on like a thrust master, and I just slam into the door and it whips me the other direction like that that's how it feels playing this game that's how it feels shooting um but definitely might be something to if they did fix maybe take a second look at um not gonna totally trash it because there are some good parts but for a first opinion on a beta game not the greatest i'm gonna be honest yeah so, it's um, it's definitely um gonna need some work Gonna need some adjustments. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing, I mean, movement for me was a little weird um, at first. It is hard to get used to because it's not your typical um, movement mechanics. Um, typical control. Your shift key is your rolling, so there is no running. It's an automatic run, so which was which was really hard to get used to. Um, but after you play for a few times, uh, you will get used to it. Um, it's uh, what's the what are the teams? I think it's a six v six, I believe. Um, it is a six. right now they only have it's a six v six for um, search and destroy. Mm -hmm. Um, the cool thing is you can go down, so it's not like um, you die immediately. It's just like Rogue Company. If you've played Rogue Company before, it's. Honestly, pretty much the exact same thing as real company. Right. But in my opinion, I, honestly, I'm 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 gonna stick with Rogue Company right now until they fix their this game. Rogue Company is the uh, the better third person I PvP mean, Rogue game. Rogue Company in some aspects kind of bothers me, but you know, I mean, what was that? I said even Rogue Company in some aspects bothers me. I mean, the reason it does. it's not so bad. It's just I don't know. Maybe I don't play the game enough. Queuing kind of sucks. Um, and I feel like if the movement stuff was a little better and I didn't feel like I got shit on every game I played that I might give it a chance to learn the mechanics of it. But in the meantime, I mean, the trailer looked kind of badass if you, you know, like, I mean, if we take a look at this guy shooting the recoil on this weapon, let me just be the first person to tell you that when you first dive in the game, you are not recoil controlling it two times. They are like this. There, there is no, no way. Fucking way in the world. Like, this is so over, like dramatized that it's ridiculous but like this is the juggernaut game mode um coming soon wasn't in the beta but um there are some other cool stuff coming i mean there's a lot of cool um characters in it a lot of cool abilities that come with those yeah. characters um 
But overall, it just we we don't like it as of now. Hey, you never know. Maybe maybe in the future, next pod uh, two podcasts from now when it actually releases, maybe they'll fix a few things. We'll play it again and uh, go from there. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, I guess unfortunately and realistically, only time will tell. But. Uh... We'll just have to see. This is a really long trailer, and I don't really feel like it shows a hell of a lot. No, it really doesn't. And that's the, that's the big thing with these games these days. Is uh, The trailer looks amazing, but then when you play the game, it's just oh. completely different. It's just not what you expected it to be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which, unfortunately, seems to be the case. I mean... It's a hell of a lot easier to make a game look great when you Photoshop it and you edit it and you show all the good shit and you avoid everything and anything that looks bad. I mean, let's be honest right. with ourselves. It's a little easier to, um, you know, show the better sides of things. I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like taking a selfie. You got to get the right angle. You got to get the right side. You know. So I mean, is that what you do? Well, takes takes you uh takes you an hour to uh to get a selfie. Yeah, it takes me at least an hour, hour and a half to get a good selfie. You know what I mean? A lot of hard work and dedication to the cause. I got you. Um, Makes sense. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, this is multiplayer, as Jeremy mentioned. So maybe we'll give it a shot later. We'll talk about it if we do. We'll, we'll throw back to the this exact moment where we trash talked it. And we're like, oh my god, this game's amazing. Probably not, but. <laughs> We'll see. We'll surprise. see if that if that happens. Surprise. Absolutely. It would be a big surprise uh, if, it, if it came back. Yeah, I know, right? Wouldn't it? Um. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see where the where 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 realistically the time goes. Um. But that's all we could do for now. I mean, there was plenty of new games coming out. I mean, I'm not sure. Um, the plan is to try and review and play a new game that's coming out or in beta um, each week to see our opinions on it. Yeah, so if you guys have a suggestion, um, definitely uh, comment on one of our videos, go to our social medias, go to our website, and um, reach, out. reach out to us so uh, we can uh, try these games. We'll try anything pretty much, and uh, we'll review it for you. Absolutely. So. Definitely check it out, and uh, as Jeremy mentioned, um, everywhere below here you will see our social media and our website down here in the middle. Um, so check it out. Um, let us know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything of that nature, and uh, we'll, we will go from there. Um, so absolutely excited for what newer games are coming out in the future, and uh, definitely willing to try them out and see um, what we've got in store. I mean, yeah, that's it. it's really that's all we can do is wait, yeah. wait and see. Absolutely, which kind of sucks sometimes because sometimes it's a really bomb ass game and you got to wait like six months to play. That's it. It the really funny sucks. thing. There's a, that's a lot of things. The, the a lot of the I newer know, cool awful. games aren't coming out until next year, until next year or two years from now. It's fucking tragic. Which is like, weird. I'm really excited for that June 2023, bro. I got like a year. Yep. Exactly. In a year, I might not even want to play this game anymore. No. What the fuck? No. I want to play it now. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna play now. Right. right there'll here. be there'll be Down better home. games that come out. Take, take my card, take it. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think it pretty much covers a lot of what we we're going to cover today. Um, it is getting to be about that time where we're going to cover the weekly trivia question. I'll let Jeremy handle that. Um, again, congratulations to X Fatality, X Fatally, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, whatever the case. Um, on <laughs> YouTube, you are this week's winner. Um, and for this week's question, uh, sliding it over to Jeremy. All right. So, ready. This week's trivia question is this picture here. You won't, you people that are listening to it will not see it, but it's the PlayStation 2 startup screen. Question is what did this represent? What was the Easter egg that? was in this startup screen and what did it mean yeah, i'll be honest i played ps2 for that like that was like the like one of the fierce few consoles i played 
And I never, like, I never realized that when I took the disc out and huffed on it a little bit and then put it back in and, like, had to restart the thing eight times to get it to read the fucking disc, that that screed that I waited for that was so loud actually meant something. Never. Yep. Every... It means something. Yeah, it does. So let us know on all of our, any of our social medias or this video. Comment it. And, uh... Let us know, and you can win a $10 gift card to uh, anything of your choice. Fuck, if you want a $10 Walmart gift card, I will get you one, fam. Like, I got you. All, all the way. That's it. $10 Dunkin' Donuts. If you Dunkin' Donuts, fam, I got you. No problem. Dunkin' Donuts, so you want a, Starbucks. You want, a, you want a $10 gift card to Netflix Big, because McDonald's Netflix keeps raising their prices? I got you. McDonald's, Hulu, anything you want. Got you. Anything. Anything your little heart desires. Got it. All right. Tune in next week for the answer to this question and to find out if you are the one walking away with a $10 gift card. Um, any questions, comments, or concerns, do reach out to us at Win, Lose, Listen on any social media or www.winloselisten.com. Uh, thank you for watching with us today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for anybody who is tuning in right here, right now, and anybody who continues to tune in within the next couple days. Um, I am Jacob. I am Jeremy. And no matter if you are winning or losing, you can always listen. <laughs>